Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Nursing with Ingrid. First and foremostly, I just want to say I'm so sorry that I didn't upload last week. Um, life happened and I do apologize for that. Secondly, I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. I just want to say welcome to the family. I absolutely appreciate you. I absolutely appreciate your subscriptions, your comments, as well as your likes. At this point, I also want to remind you, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and please like the video and comment down below what you think, what you'd like me to address going forward. Today I'm going to be discussing uh, the pharmacy assistant as well as the dental assistant, okay? These are two parts that you can also take within the healthcare environment without being a doctor or without being a nurse. And uh, this is going to be the last video that I'm doing for post grade 12 learners. We are going to start with the pharmacy assistant learnership program. Now this learnership program is for um, people that are interested in being in the pharmacy and the medicine environment where you dispense and you advise um, customers and clients with regards to their medication. And this is actually a two-year learnership program that is hosted by Netcare, by Life Health Group, by Clicks by Dischem and the other, there's a few other smaller um, pharmacy chains that do have the learnership program. The learnership program is a two year program. The first year you do basic pharmacy and the second year you do advanced um, pharmacy dispensing and all of that stuff. So what do you need if you are interested in becoming a, a pharmacy assistant? What you need is a grade 12 first and foremostly. You need to be a South African citizen. Secondly, and with your grade 12, you need to have mathematics, pure maths or maths lit, as well as English. And it will also depend on which province you are in, the predominant language that is spoken there, you need to be proficient in the local language within your province. Now with the pharmacy assistant, you can be very, um, stretched and pulled as well. It's very challenging, it's very exciting, and it is also very rewarding. You know, uh, the, there's nothing better than having somebody that is going to tell you exactly what your medication does, what time you need to take it, how you need to take it, what signs to look out for, and all of that. And that is why the pharmacy assistant is so important within the medic medication environment. And once you've finished your pharmacy learnership, pharmacy assistant learnership, you are then part of the South African Pharmacy uh, Council, which governs and regulates your, um, your, your role and what you can do and what you can't do. The next one we're going to discuss is your dental assistant. The dental assistant is somebody that assists the dentist or work or works within the um, dental environment, okay? So with this course, it's a one-year um, course and after you've done your one year, you are given a certificate of higher learning in dental assistant and what you do is that what is expected of you, should I say, is that you need to be able to uh, be a receptionist, number one. You need to be able to clean and disinfect the area. You get taught all that. The third thing is that you assist the dentist himself with whatever procedures he's doing. And fourthly, you need to know how to clean equipment and sterilize equipment. And you need to be able to handle your um, x-rays and your x-ray machine as well. Now where do you study for becoming a dental assistant? You can do it via UNISA or you can do it through the Universities of Technology. It is a one-year course and the salary is pretty good at the end of it. I mean I've seen one of the adverts within KZN where I live and they're looking at somebody that can assist and the salary ranges between 11,000 to 24,000. So that is quite a lot of money. 
and it's a good um, salary to get as a dental assistant and it's also very nice you know and this is for somebody that is not grossed out by seeing rotten teeth or by seeing um, very bad mouth hygiene and also as a dental assistant you are able to advise patients or clients on how to take care of their teeth you also learn how to take impressions like um, yeah if, if a patient needs to have dentures inserted or a, a, a crown or a bridge so you learn all that how to take an impression how to handle the impression and how to transport the impression to a dental technician so that's it from me i hope you enjoyed this video with regards to your pharmacy assistant and dental assistant and um, this concludes the the videos that i have made for post grade 12 and i would just like to say thank you very much for your time once again and please do stay safe take care and god bless bye bye